So friends, today I will be testing another new CarPlay AI box from the famous company called MMB. As you know, MMB makes great CarPlay devices. I am really a big fan of this company, especially their after sales service and the customer support. Now, this new device of theirs is called MMB Max. And the best thing about this new device is their much improved user interface. And I'll show you that when we test this in my car. But before that, let's have a quick look at the specifications of this and compare it with some of the other devices in the market. So the first thing I would like to compare is the speed. This MMB Max has 2.3 gigahertz speed with eight core CPU versus most of the other devices that come with 1.8 gigahertz on an eight core processor. So that's a big difference. On the chipset, this one has MediaTek 12 nm versus other devices have Qualcomm 14 nm. Uh, Android system. Now, MMB Max has Android 10. Compared to the other devices, most of them are Android 9 and 10, but you might find a few which are Android 11 as well. Now, the next big one is the startup speed. The MMB Max would start within 20 seconds and we will do a proper startup speed test when we test this in my car. Uh, TF card supports 256 GB of memory compared to the other devices that go up to max 128. So that's double. Uh, SIM card is also an important one. Now this MMB Max works in all countries. So it works with all the net networks across the world and you just need this one device. Compared to other devices where you have a different model for North America versus Euroasia. And the last one is HDMI and USB. Now this does not have uh, HDMI but uh, there is another model that will come in a few months with HDMI. Uh, it also does not have the USB-A port uh, but it does have a TF card. So that's it guys. So these were all the different specifications and comparison with some of the other devices in the market. Now let's do a quick unboxing to check out the contents of this box. And then I will take this out to my car, connect it and check all the amazing new functions and features. So keep watching guys. All right, so let's do a quick unboxing. Now the first thing I want to mention is that this is not the final packaging. Uh, this is just a sample review unit uh, that I got uh, but the one that you will get after you order it would look like this which is quite nicer. Now so let's uh, quickly do the unboxing. Uh, let's open the box. All right so this is the device the MMB Max device. Okay let's, let's open it keep it on the side for a while I just want to go through the rest of the items inside this box. So you get uh, two cables to connect this device with the car. Uh, so this is a USB-C to USB-C. And then you've got a USB-A to USB-C. And this is what I need to connect this device uh, with my car. Uh, so what you need to do is simply connect the device like this and connect this other end in the system of your car. And if your system has a USB-C connection, then you can use this other cable to connect it. All right, so now let's have a quick look at the device itself. Um, it's very lightweight. Um, let's take off this protective screen. Now, you can't see much on the screen uh, now, but when we connect this with the car, you will see the LED light that comes up and looks quite nice. So as I said, um, quite uh, lightweight, uh, a nice design, um, not very thick. It's a kind of a slim design. Um, in terms of the connections, you have the USB-C connection here. So this is where you connect the cable here, like this one. On the other end, you have this cover. You take off the cover like this, and then you have a TF card and a SIM card slot. 
right? Okay, so that's it. So as I said, it's a very nice design. On the back side, you have enough uh, spacing for uh, air ventilation so the device doesn't heat up. You know, it's a quite nice design. Yeah, looks quite nice, guys. So now let me take this out and connect it with my car. And then we will test all the different functions and features and also look at the new user interface. All right, guys, so I've got my uh, device ready here. Uh, connected the cable. Now I'll connect this USB-A with my car. Uh, there you go. In about 20 seconds, we should be able to see the home page on the screen. There you go. So we get a warning note and then you click on this and then you see this main home page. Now this is the main home page of this MMB Max CarPlay box. So friends, as you can see, it is a very, very nice looking user interface. Um, it is enhanced and improved compared to the other devices I've tested. This is much, much better. Uh, you know, the big enhancement is this speedometer right in the middle, uh, which is connected with your car. But if you look at the design, uh, very nice uh, layout. In fact, what you can do is change the layout as well. Um, so you can just click on this button here it takes you to this page where you have some of the shortcuts to the settings option so you've got layout click on this layout you get three different layout options uh, in fact what you can also do is if you want to change the position of these you just press on it and uh, after long press you can in fact move these icons in the place that you want to and then you can in fact also change it so long press and then you can change the position of these on the side as well and if you want to change these to different applications you just need to long press this bottom left button here gives you this option click on these icons here and you know you can go and select something that says we select TikTok click on this and then we see this YouTube is now changed to you TikTok. All right let's change it back click on this go to YouTube and then we get to this page so it's very very nice you know very customizable uh, very flexible compared to the devices that I've tested in the past in fact right at the bottom what you see is a shortcut bar and bottom right is the icon that shows you all the connectivity so location is on Bluetooth is, Bluetooth is on internet is also on the Wi-Fi uh, you can in fact click on this and get to this shortcut uh, to the settings now you click on these buttons and add uh, applications if you want so if you want let's say Android Auto uh, which we already have let's uh, add Google Play Store you see Google Play Store appearing here uh, we can go and add more applications let's say VLC so you see VLC appearing here as well now you can swipe to left and get to all those applications as well but if you want to create those shortcuts uh, you know it's much much more easier okay and now this is an Android system so you see all the standard applications that we have in Android systems there are quite a few pre-installed ones but you can always go to a Google Play Store and install, uh, install more applications if you want. Now coming back to the main home page, which is this. Now if you swipe to the right, you get to this page. This is the status section where you see the CPU, the cores, the internal storage, how much is it used, the RAM and so on. And then if you swipe left to get to this point. So it's a very nice and customizable uh, device. Uh, you've got tons and tons of nice uh, options. So what we will do in this video now in order to test the performance of this new MMB Max device, uh, we will start testing some of the most frequently used applications as well as some of the important functionality like the wireless CarPlay and the wireless Android Auto. All right, guys, so the first thing we will test is uh, the wireless Apple CarPlay so we click on this CarPlay icon we get to this page then what we need to do is go to our iPhone Bluetooth settings 
and we will find a new device appearing with the same name as you see on the screen so we click on this device okay then we pair it allow it to sync the contacts and then we click on this use carplay that's it now this is just a one-time setup uh, you know once you set this up every time you sit in the car switch on the engine the device will automatically detect your iPhone connection and take you to the Apple CarPlay homepage there you go so this is the standard uh, homepage of Apple CarPlay um, you can see all the applications that you have on your mobile and are compatible with CarPlay are appearing here now things like Facebook Instagram TikTok which are not compatible with the Apple CarPlay would not appear but other than that you can see all the other applications appearing all right so carplay seems to be working fine so now let's try to connect the wireless android auto on my samsung mobile uh, the first thing we need to do is click on this uh, android auto icon uh, takes us to this uh, connections page uh, the device name is this now what we need to do is go to our bluetooth on the mobile and uh, look for a new device uh, with the same name as the one appearing on the screen so this is the one we click on this we pair the device and we allow it to sync the contacts there you go so now we should be able to see the android auto home page appearing on the screen any second now there you go so this is the standard home page of uh, android auto uh, you can do some customizations change the wallpaper background the look and feel um, now all the applications that are compatible uh, with android auto and are installed on your mobile will appear here yeah, again things like facebook instagram tiktok uh, which are not compatible would not appear here so that's it guys i think android auto is working perfectly fine uh, all right so now let's test the youtube app All right, so the YouTube app is working fine. Uh, very smooth, uh, very nice resolution of the screen. Uh, it's quite nice. Let's see if the steering wheel controls are working. Yeah. All right, so YouTube is working uh, fine. Now let's uh, test the live TV application. Okay. All right, seems to be working fine. Now I have a very heavy um, video, 4K video file on my TF card that I would like to test on this device. So let's go to my TF card, click on videos, and then click on this 4K file. Okay, very nice, very clear. Yeah, steering wheel controls are also working. Okay, looks quite nice, very clear and sharp. Alright, so the video playback in 4K on the TF card is working fine. Now let's uh, check if the Prime Video application opens. No, I don't have uh, the login details for this, but I just want to see if the application is working on this device. Alright, so the application works um, if you have login details and you input those here you should be able to see the prime videos application now this device has a very nice feature of uh, mobile screen mirroring uh, let's test that out on my iPhone so we click on this supercast icon and then on my iPhone we just go to top right drop down click on this screen mirroring and then we should be able to see this device appearing click on this and we see the screen is now mirrored now one thing to keep in mind is that in order to do this you need to make sure that both the mobile and the device are connected to the same Wi-Fi network 
Okay. Alright, so... Now this device has the built-in GPS system as well. Uh, so now let's go and check it out. Uh, let's go to GPS here. Uh, let's test the strength. Uh, this is quite nice. Now let's uh, check out the Google Maps. All right, so. Google Maps seems to be working fine. All right, friends, so now let's do a startup speed test. I just want to see how long does this device take to start when we switch on the engine. So I've got my uh, stopwatch ready here. I am going to uh, unplug the device and then uh, plug the device back in and then start the timer. Okay, so yeah, 19 to 20 seconds, uh, which is quite good. Uh, definitely the fastest uh, device I've tested. The one I tested before this was 23 seconds. Uh, that was the on ice one, but this is around the 20 second mark. So that's quite good. That's it guys. So we've tested all the important functions, features, and some of the frequently used applications. Uh, you know, everything has performed really well. Uh, three things I love about this device. One is definitely the speed is quite fast. Uh, then the design of this device, it's quite nice and uh, compact. And then the best thing is uh, the ability to customize the user interface. And there are so many different options, plus the new speedometer. You know, I love this new device and I highly recommend anyone who's looking for an updated latest version of any CarPlay device. So guys, if you're interested in buying this device, just go to the link in the description of this video. Uh, that takes you directly to the manufacturer's uh, website where you can buy this amazing new MMB Max AI CarPlay box. If you have any questions about this device, just drop me a WhatsApp message. Uh, I've provided a direct WhatsApp message link in the description of this video. Finally, please do subscribe to the channel like this video and share it with your friends. Thanks.